We're being asked to find the equation of the hyperbola with the following foci and the following vertices. So let's do it. Solution. We'll start by drawing a picture. So that's the y-axis and that's the x-axis. Okay, so the vertices are 0, 0 and negative 2, comma 0. So those are the vertices. Now the vertices lie on the hyperbola. So the hyperbola is going to look like this. So it opens left and right. The center is right in the middle. So there's the center. So that point is negative 1, comma 0. So that's the center. Now the distance from the center to the vertex is a. So a is equal to 1 in this problem. So a is equal to 1. Now we're also told that the foci are negative 3 comma 0 and 1 comma 0. So here's the first foci and here's the second foci. The distance from the center to the foci is c. So in this problem c is equal to 2. So we have a equals 1 and c equals 2. We just need to find b. So there's a formula that relates a, b, and c. c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. And the trick is a hyperbola has a minus sign, so you have a plus here. If it was an ellipse, we would have a minus. So it's just the opposite of what you see in the equation. c is 2, so we get 4 equals 1, because 1 squared is 1, plus b squared. Subtract 1, and so b squared is equal to 3. So the final answer, we have x minus h squared over a squared, that's the formula for a hyperbola that opens left and right over b squared equals 1. So if it opens left and right, the x comes first. If it opens up and down, the y comes first. This one opens left and right, as you can see in the picture, so the x comes first. So you have to be really careful here. So h is negative 1 and k is 0. So we get x minus negative 1. So x plus 1. And a was 1. So a squared is 1. Minus and then y minus 0 squared because k is 0. And b squared was 3. And this is equal to 1. I guess we could clean it up a bit. So maybe write the final answer as x plus 1 squared minus y squared over 3 equals 1. And that's it.